In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the NEDEC VS motor onto a back of an existing pump. I'm going to show you how to remove the motor and then put the NEDEC VS motor on the back. So I'm going to show you the easy to follow steps here of replacing your existing motor with the NEDEC VS motor. So the first thing you want to do is turn the breaker off to make sure there's no power going to the motor. Next you're going to remove the wires from the old motor. And since this is a whisper flow, there are six bolts holding the motor onto the pump. So once you remove these six bolts, the motor should slide right off the back of the pump. So now you can pull the motor and seal plate right off. And they also sell a kit that includes the diffuser o-ring and also the housing gasket and also the seal for the whisper flow. Keep in mind that when you're changing out the motor on the back of any pump, you want to make sure you get the seal specific for the pump itself. So this seal is made for the whisper flow pump. For example, if you're going to put this motor on the back of a Hayward Super Pump, you would use a different seal in that case. So with the whisper flow pump, the diffuser is actually held on by these little Allen screws. So you got to remove these two Allen screws, one here and one here, to get the diffuser off. The other pumps, the diffuser just slides right off. So this is a 2 horsepower motor. So this impeller will work fine with the 2.7 horsepower NIDEC VS pump. The only time you have to get a new impeller is if you're going from, say, a 3 horsepower motor down to maybe a NIDEC 1.65 or 2.7, but that's a pretty rare case, and in almost all the cases, the impeller will work fine on the NIDIC VS motor. Now you want to remove the screw that's inside the impeller. And note that the screw unscrews clockwise and not counterclockwise. So I'm going to hold the shaft with a wrench, and then I'm going to spin the impeller counterclockwise to remove it. And if it's on there really tight, a pair of large channel locks is a great way to get the impeller off. Now you want to get the old seal out of the impeller. A pair of needle nose pliers works pretty good. Sometimes this piece can be really tight inside the impeller. And now we're going to get the four bolts off here and remove the seal plate from the back of the motor. And this can sometimes be the hardest part, removing the seal plate. Now if you can't get it off, you would just buy a new seal plate and call it a day. And I would say this one was medium difficulty. Again, there's some that just won't come off. And then just getting a new seal plate is all you can do. And this one's fairly easy to get out. You just take a screwdriver and a hammer and tap out the seal. Okay, I'm going to put the new seal in here. Next, we're going to put the ceramic part of the seal in the impeller. Let me get this part out. And one thing to note about the ceramic part, you don't want to touch it with your hands. I just use the box that came in to push it down. Okay, you can see that the seal plate is marked bottom here. So now I'm going to take the seal plate and put it on the NEDEC VS motor. Note that this is a square flange VS motor. And this is a square flange pump. You also have round flange VS motors if you have a round flange pump. Now I'm going to put the bolts back in. And I'm going to thread the impeller back on. So I just stuck the screwdriver to the vents in the back to hold it from spinning. That way I can get the impeller on in the front. It was really effective. Go ahead and put the screw back into the impeller and we're going to get the diffuser on. And now I'm going to get the diffuser back on. You remember these Allen screws here? So you can see the process of removing the old motor and then putting on the seal plate, impeller, and diffuser onto the NEDEC motor. It's pretty easy, it's just more time consuming than anything. So I'm going to put some lube on the housing gasket before I put it back onto the pump. So you simply loosen these four bolts here and you can take the back off and do the wiring. 
I'm going to put the elbow here on the side. You can also come in through the back, but the side is more common. Now you want to take the wires and feed them through the elbow. Remember this is a 230 volt installation, so I have two line wires and one ground. Now you're going to connect the green ground wire to the green screw. So it doesn't matter where I put the red or black wire with the 230 installation. As so you can see the wiring is very easy. You have the ground, you have the line 2, and the line 1. And there's also an auxiliary relay here if you wanted to connect a salt water generator or another device to this pump. So the salt cell will activate when the pump reaches a certain RPM. This will eliminate a need for a secondary timer for the salt water system. And if you're connecting the NEDIC 1.65 horsepower dual voltage version, I'm going to show you the wiring configuration of that one right now. If you're connecting it to 115 volts, you have your line 1, you have your neutral, and then you have the ground. And if you connect it to 230 volts, you have your line one, your line two, and your ground. Okay, I turn the breaker back on. There should be power here. So you can see that there's power to the pump. In the follow-up video to this one here, I'm going to show you how to program the run speeds and set a schedule in here. And this pump does come with some pre-programmed schedules in here. In the follow-up video, I'm going to show you how to program this pump and set your own run times and schedules. And the final step in this process is connecting the bonding wire to the motor. So that's the installation of the NEDEC VS motor. It's a very easy process and it should take you less than an hour to do this. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open 7 days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.